And I wanted to say something about Vavara Kacheva's one-sided arch rivalry with Petra Martic. Since I mentioned Vavara's rivalry with Petra Martic in my last video. With Vavara, this is my introduction to Vavara Kacheva. It's her consistently playing against and losing against Petra Martic since 2020. And after going to one of Vavara's matches and cheering for her and watching her while she was playing in Austin. And seeing her have her first career final success and that train wreck of a final trophy presentation. So after Vavara played so well in Austin, I was going to watch her through Indian Wells to see if her success in Austin was going to carry on throughout Indian Wells. But I'm... What the... <laughs> hey, they shooting! They clapping up! Sorry, just like in Ukraine! But unfortunately for her, once again, Vavara ran into her Achilles heel nemesis. Vavara's probably looking at the draw pissed off right now. Like, why I have to keep playing against this extra tall Amazonian built ass Petra Martic? So yeah, once Vavara came through qualifying and while she was playing her first round match, I seen that she could potentially play Petra in the second round. And I was like, oh, um, yeah, I don't see Vavara going no further than the second round. Based off how she played against Petra in her last five losses in a row. And the thing about Vavara consistently struggling and losing to Petra Martic is because she doesn't know how to play against players that have a big first serve. Petra Martic is a big server no matter what those haters say. Saying Petra Martic, she has a trash service speed. Petra, she's a big server and her serve is her favorite shot. And plus, she plays with a lot of heavy spin and slice shots. She has a tremendous amount of variety to her game. And Vavara probably doesn't know how to play against those type of players. And that's the same reason why a little bit of Sam Sonova is also 0 and 5 against Petra Martic. Vavara and Ludomita's aggressive baseline game does not match up well with Petra's game. Petra's game completely neutralizes their game. Especially when Petra is playing against aggressive baseliners, she likes to take pace off the heavy hitting with a lot of slicing. As I said before, Petra Martic, she is not a heavy hitter and she's not going to go back and forth with no heavy hitter all match. And some of those heavy hitting or aggressive baseline players like Vavara Kacheva probably don't know how to respond to off-pace shots and players with a sufficient amount of defense. But most of those Russians, they're all aggressive baseliners. They're like all respawns of Maria Sharapova, especially the young up-and-coming Russian girls. And they probably received their first dose of Madonium by the age of four because you have to start doping them up while they're young. Madonium helps us grow! We are Madonium, kids! But anyways, I don't know why Vavara struggles against Petra Martic. She's pretty easy to beat. She has the same game plan and strategy for every match. Well, since I've been following Petra Martic for nearly seven years, I know her game plan like the back of my hand. It hasn't really changed much since like 2008. And here's a tip for Vavara. I know I shouldn't be giving tips to an opponent, especially when she's playing against my favorite player. First of all, get your first serve in. And since Vavara is an aggressive baseliner, Petra is going to be using that drop shot. That's one of Petra's main elements and components to her game. It's trying to get baseline players off the baseline, trying to finish the point around the net. So I'll be anticipating that drop shot. Petra's like landing that drop shot around her opponent's deuce cord. So you have to be ready and anticipating that drop shot and be ready to run off that baseline like somebody is shooting behind you. What the... <laughs> And Vavara, she needs to work on playing against players that play with heavy top spin and heavy back slice. Because Petra, she loves to back slice her backhand, take pace off shots, and her backhand slice shots, when they land, they're gonna be off placed. So Vavara, she needs to work on her timing and her shot selection when she's hitting back Petra's off place shots. And another tip on how to play against Petra, you have to hit and penetrate those balls deep. Pause. You have to get Petra moving, you have to hit the balls deep in the corners, and you have to keep Petra moving all throughout the match. And this is an important tactic against Petra because sometimes she's not going to want to chase down those shots that's hit down the line or deeper near the corner late into the match. She's not going to run a run after those balls, and I sat there and watched Petra lose many of her matches because of this. And since Favara is an aggressive baseliner, Petra, she's not going to try to out-hit an aggressive baseliner. She'll probably try to construct a point against them, or she'll play defensive, but she ain't gonna try to go back and forth with no aggressive baseline or all match. That's just never been part of Petra's game. She's not an aggressive player like that. But she can't hit winners, though. But the haters calling Petra a pusher, and Petra does hit a fair amount of winners. If she has the opportunity to hit a winner, she would try to go for that shot. 
But my main concern with Vivara is she's going to struggle to return Petra's serve like she has in previous matches. Because Petra is excellent at exploiting inexperienced young players with a big serve. Like that one video that I edited of Petra hitting 13 aces against Camila Rakamova. Like Camila, she wasn't even trying to return those serves because she probably didn't know how to. Yeah, Vivara, she should watch that video and use it as a study guide on how to not return Petra's serves. And once Vivara figures out how to play against players like Petra, then she could win her first match off of her and she would stop struggling against these type of players. And these aren't really tips. This is more like general player scouting information that Vivara should have picked up on herself the last five times that she played Petra before. But I said too much. It's me. I want these Russian women to have success because I'm tired of seeing these Russian players being discriminated against. I'm tired of seeing them being ostracized, alienated, disrespected for no other reason but for being Russian. And I'm sick of politics being brought into sports. And that's all my two cents. That's all I wanted to say about Bavar struggling with her matchup against Spencer Martich.